In volume 3, I talked about the link between these hormones and dairy, and the stimulation of sebaceous glands resulting in acne. But as we're learning, the growth of acne is not the only thing the hormones of milk can stimulate the growth of. Acne, dairy, and cancer, published last year in the journal Dermatoendocrinology. A potent link to dairy seems to exist for acne, breast cancer, and prostate cancer, but why? Maybe it's 5-alpha-P. What is 5-alpha-P? 5-alpha-pregnanidione, another sex steroid hormone present in cow's milk that is a direct precursor to a testosterone metabolite that not only drives acne, but may promote both prostate and breast cancer, like the other dairy hormones. The article starts out how you know, over the last 35 years, parts of a highly important jigsaw puzzle have gradually come to light. First, look, any, all any doctor has to do is, is take a medical history to learn that, for example, extensive back acne is almost exclusively due to excess dairy intake. Not necessarily milk itself, could be other dairy products. Now we'd like to do controlled clinical studies, but the problem is there's no control. Dairy without the offending hormones does not exist. Even organic milk, where you know, they're not allowed to inject the cows with extra hormones, has growth hormones in it, because biologically that's the whole point of milk, right? to put a couple hundred pounds on a baby calf. The problem with humans drinking cow hormones is there's no natural feedback loop. For our own hormones, if we you know, have too much estrogen or something, our, our brain damps it down. But this protective feedback system is bypassed when the system is you know, invaded by these dihydrotestosterone precursors in dairy products. See, the human endocrine system didn't evolve under the influence of ingested dairy and other external hormones and growth factors, and we're just not equipped to, to cope with such a quote-unquote sneak attack. In summary, the evidence suggests that dairy-sourced hormones, not being subject to any innate feedback inhibition, may be the source of the steroid sex hormones that drive acne, prostate, and breast cancer. This is the most promising unifying hypothesis or theory available uh, to explain the cause of diverse conditions that blemish, scar, shorten, and take the lives of millions.